Hello everyone, especially sa ako mga grade 10 students. Now you are directed here or ni Abot Mudiria for further understanding of mathematics. That is why ako ni discuss nga na ay mga bisaya nga pinulungan. Okay ba? Sige, let's move on. Now, the first question is, sa ato ang lesson karon is that you need to answer what is a circle. I know nga most students are clueless. Clueless why? Because when you are being asked of this, maglisod mo ang tubag kung unsa ang definition sa circle. Most of the students mo tubag pag inon nga what is a circle? Ang tubag is a circle is round. A circle is a circle. Ang e anabitaw. So natay mga uh, misconceptions or mga mga lessons nga wala na sabtan tarong. It comes to circles. So para mas masabtan unsa ang circle at ito sa basic sa geometry. Points. So, let's have a point here. And, let's draw another point nga away from that point. Say, dili ang uh, position. Alright. So, let's draw another point nga pareha kalayo, pero on a different position. Say, dili. Uh. And, let's repeat that. No? Drawing another point, which is of the same length or the same distance. Pareha aling duha ka book points, but different nga position or location. And then, let's redo that over and over again. So, we can draw infinitely many points na the same distance from that certain point of origin na itong gibuhan. Or the certain fixed point na no? kaya wala move. So, there are infinitely many points that we can draw. So, infinitely many. Hindi na may help. So, we can create a circle. So, muna siya ang um, definition no? sa Osaka Circle. Ang circle is a set of points equidistant to a fixed point. Now, since we're talking about points naman, and this is geometry, so atong dagan sa lesson ani karon or sa video karon will be starting sa points, the yung lines, the yung shapes, and so on and so forth. Now, talking about points, di ba sa circle natay fixed point para makabuhat ta og circle? Now, let's say kaning point or fixed point Kay pangalan niya kay O. That's how we name a point, right? We use a capital letter. So, we have a point O. Now, kung unsa ang point, ang fixed point, muna siya ang pangalan sa circle. So, for example, ang fixed point diha a kay O man. So, we call this circle a circle O. Now, kanang fixed point, ang tawag ana sa circle, no? with respect to the circle, ang tawag ana kay ang center of the circle. So, the center is O. Alright, now let's have more points regarding the circle. Let us redraw circle O. Yan. Let's say we have a point here. Alright, this point A. Now, if you have noticed, point A kay na-address sa sulod sa circle. Munang sulod, so sa English pa, point A is in the circle. Klaro ba? Okay, let's have another point. Let's have point B. Point B is somewhere here. Ang point B na igu siya sa circle. Or, on another term, na A siya sa circle. So, sa English pa, B is on the circle. Yan. I hope inyo mag-gets. O si Kalahi, ano na ha? In, A is in, B is on the circle. So, natay in, natay on, napuntay outside the circle. Yun. Let's say point C. Point C is outside the circle. So, we can draw infinitely many points, right? There are infinitely many points around us. There are infinitely many points that we can draw here. Sa kakalinga plane nga ito ang work on karon, Right? So, now, to further understand, so we have points in the circle, we have points on the circle, and we have points outside the circle. So, what are the points in the circle? We have A, we have F, we have D, and I. These are the points in the circle. Delete, delete point in the circle ang O ha, kay ang circle, kay ang O. We have points on the circle. We have point B, point N, point P, point R, and point L. And also point J. Yun. These points are on the circle. And we have the points outside the circle. We have Q, G, C, K, S, E, M, and H. These are points outside the circle. So, this is important because muna itong gamiton sa pag-define sa uban pa nga mga 
objects nga atong i-learn regarding circles, no? We need to understand what a point on the circle is, what a point in the circle is. So after sa points, kung sa atong storyhan, pag i-connect ang points, di ba, maka-create og line. So let's redraw circle O. Let's have a point on the circle. Yan. Again, A. A is a point on the circle. If we create a line segment that connects the center and a point on the circle, we create a radius. So, mo na siya ang definition sa radius, everyone. A radius is a line segment that connects the center of the circle and a point on the circle. Yan. Mo na siya ang definition sa radius. So, let's have another point on the circle. Let's say point B. So, if we connect O and B, yun. We have a line segment OB. It is still a radius because it is a line segment that has endpoints, center, and a point on the circle. So, we can draw infinitely many radius as well sa Osaka circle. So, we have a radius OC. We can also have radius OD as long as C and D are on the circle. So, mo na siya ang radius sa circle. Alright. Let's talk about another line segment on the cir uh, concerning circles rather. So, let's redraw circle O. Let's have a point on the circle, point A. Another point on the circle, circle B. If we create a line segment connecting these points A and B which are on the circle, no, we can create a line segment AB which is what we call now a chord. Yun. Again, a chord is a line segment that connects two points on the circle. For this example, points A and B. So we can create um, many other chords such as this. Now, let us look at chord AD. Chord AD passes through the center O. So, this is something special no, about this chord. Kay, again, chord is okay. The end points are points on the circle A and D. But the, the thing is, ni agi siya sa center. So, basta gani ang chord, kay mo agi sa center, ang tawag na diameter. Ayun. So, natay definition sa diameter. A diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. No? If you try to think of it before, uh, before this, probably inyo pagsabot, no, pag-define sa diameter kay, ang diameter is twice the radius. Or pag mo, on sa radius, ang radius is katunga sa diameter. So, karoon na natin mga formal na definition sa radius o sa diameter. Now, moving on, we can create also as many as we want no, mga chords sa circle. There are infinitely many chords that can be created sa circle. Now, pag mabantayan ninyo, lahi-lahi o katason ang mga chords. Pero ang mustan out, ang pinakataas nga posible nga mabuhat na chord kay ang diameter. So, the diameter is the longest possible chord nga mabuhat ni mo sa Osaka Circle. Okay. So, let us move on. So, karon we're talking about line segments, man. Let's talk about lines concerning circles. So, let's redraw circle O. So, we have circle O and then let's go back to points on the circle. Say, point A is on the circle. Another point on the circle, point B. And another point on the circle, point C. Right. Now, if we create a line that passes through points on the circle, a line ha, ganina line segment, karon line. Kung na ay line, nga mo, mo agi sa points on the circle, say A and B, ang tawag ka ng align kay second. Alright? Or sa kuan pa, western nga pagbasa, secant. No? Depende na sa inyo habasa kay, we have a secant or a second. Kamu na wala pronounce, mga bisaya man ta. Next, pwede po nga ang isa ka line, dili siya mo agi sa duha ka points on the circle. Pwede nga, mo pingis la siya. So, mo igo siya sa Example, diri ah, no? natay line, uh, as a point outside the circle, point D. 
and then another point on the uh, outside the circle rather point E let's create a line but kaning a line DE mo igu siya sa circle on point C so instead na duha ka buok ang iyang giigo nga point on the circle point uh, line DE touches the circle at point C which is on the circle ang tawag ani nga line kay tangent tangent line so we have a line uh, secant and tangent now since we're done with lines karon let's talk about angles concerning circle let's redraw circle o now in circle o let's have point on the circle say point a and another point on the circle point b now going back to angles and geometry diba ang angles kay created by two non-collinear rays that have a common point yun magbuhat ang ray no gikan sa center for this example yan we have an angle no, an angle nga ang vertex kay naa sa center yan so pag ingani gani ang itsura sa angle no ang vertex niya kay center or naa sa center ang tawag ana central angle so angle AOB is a central angle now because of this angle ang circle natunga into two arcs. So, we call that one arc, right? Kanang part sa circle. Kanang smaller one, smaller man siya, we call this arc as minor arc, AB. Of course, the bigger one, minor man gamay, is a major arc. Pareha sila pangalan tungod kay we use the points on the circle kung asa na igo sa angle. So, na igo sa angle ang circle sa point A and B. That's why we have arc AB, minor and major arc AB. Now, we write arc na na ay curve sa taas. Right. Now, there's a relationship between the central angle and the arc na nasubtend. Right? So, kung unsa ang measure sa angle AOB, maupo na ang measure sa minor arc AB or major arc AB. So, for example, Kung kanisiya nga angle kay let's say um, 90 therefore ang minor arc AB is as well 90 no now kung kani 90 therefore kanisiya kay let's say 270 right yun so kung 270 ni major arc AB is 270 as well Another example, if this is 80 degrees, yun. That means, ang minor arc AB is 80 degrees as well. Right? So, kung 80 ni siya, this one would be 280. Yun. So, kung 280 ni siya, ang major arc AB is 280 as well. Now, let's redraw circle O. And, let's have points on the circle. We have point A, another point on the circle, point B. And another point on the circle, point C. Now, we can create an angle na dili center ang vertex. This time around, create tag angle kung asa ang vertex sa angle kay on the circle. Yun. Paging anigani ang itsura sa angle na ang vertex niya kay on the circle, ang tawag na inscribed angle. Yun. Kung nabantayan ninyo, ang inscribed angle, na subtend niya ang arc, nakabuhat at tagtulo. So, we cannot use the term minor and major here. Alright? Delete na ito na itong tawag karoon kay tulo na makabuo. So, delete pwede nga minor ang isa, major ang isa niya, major major ang isa. Right? It would be wrong. So, may tabo diri karoon na natay gitawag nga intercepted arc. Alright? So, kanina arc diri a ah, Muna siya ang mag-matter when it comes to inscribed angle. Ang tawag na, intercepted arc. We still use the points on the circle nga na subtend sa angle, which are points A and B. So, we have the intercepted arc. Now, just like ganina, na ay relationship ang angle o ang arc. This time around, kung pila ang angle, no, 
katunga na siya sa intercepted arc. For example, kung kanisiya na angle kay let's say 40 degrees, no? So twice ana mo na ang measure sa intercepted arc. Therefore, ang intercepted arc would measure 80 degrees. Another example, what if ang intercepted arc kay 140 degrees? Therefore, kung 140 ni, tungaon na siya, ang inscribed angle would measure 70 degrees. So sa next nga video or next nga lesson, we will be talking more about relationships between shapes na po. Diba? We have started off with points, lines, and angles. Karon we'll be talking about shapes. But particularly, circle lang yapon. So we'll be talking more about relationships between two or more circles. See you!